Good morning, everyone. So we got a quite a few things going on today. I'm so we brought a few things from storage. Um, so we are sleeping in here now. It's it's a little bit more cleaner than it was. Um, there's not much to show. All of our stuff I put it on the couch since we're not using it. So being able to put stuff on there. I did laundry yesterday, so I'm currently folding some of that putting things away so this space has a bathroom but we don't have propane or anything or electricity or water so it's not being used little sink area over here mirror we have a closet where we're hanging all of our jackets and sweaters that we usually use this is our sleeping area so very spacious all of us sleep on here and like I said, currently we have been coming over a lot more often. Now that we have this camper, it's more comfortable. But before we weren't, especially with a tent, because it was a lot more cold for uh, for the kids and myself. So I had to make the change. Joy, do you love it here? Nom, 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 nom. Ah! So today we're waiting on a guy that's going to go ahead and do the foundation for us. I went ahead between Jose and I we kind of laid out and sort of measured out the now 12 by 24 or 24 by 12 built so the stakes kind of set that perimeter that stake over there is where the electricity meter is going to be still haven't put electricity we're just kind of juggling things like what's the cheapest what can come first you know and there's a little stick right over there. That's kind of the area where my dad wants to build us a small storage shed. So we'll have things more reachable to us. The whole trip thing about him leaving again to Alaska, we're kind of juggling that. He doesn't start until August, right? Sometime in August. It's pros and cons like, like he had mentioned where, you know, he's gone for two months making money and all that stuff. He misses out on that, but then when he comes back, he's with us for those two months and just enjoying the time, right? But those two months that he's going to be gone for, August and September, in August, Nathan's going to start school. That's something both, in, both of us were looking forward to doing together and just giving all of that attention to Nathan. And, you know, he's our firstborn going into kindergarten, so it's a special moment. In September, we have this family trip that we've been planning for a while, and we had to take it because we couldn't get a refund for our tickets, and the whole COVID situation didn't really help. Where's Firefly? So, we're going to Mexico to meet my dad's side of the family, or not us meet the, well, he hasn't met them, but also our kids haven't met them, and just with other family members, we got an Airbnb over there, and it was just going to be a good time for a week, and so... If he wasn't to go, he was going to miss out on that, lose his ticket, that's two things, lose that family time, and then I would have to take the trip on my own. We were kind of calculating things where it's like, yeah, man, you make good money for like those months that you're gone, but the months that you're here, you're just going to get kind of like an unemployment check, a little bit more unemployment checks than what unemployment gives. If both of us really put in the effort to just work full-time jobs over here that pay pretty good money i think we can both do it like without him having to be gone for long periods of time it's a good point that you know because uh i am making all of my money in a two month span but i don't come back to land and have all of my money i'm still waiting Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting a very long time for each check from each trip that I get. Uh, all of the money that I would send home would be spent immediately. Coming back for these two months, we still have to be living pretty frugal. But yeah, it's all been going to important things. and The land build and all that shit. And this so job would pay you... off if we weren't in the position that we are in right now. Yeah. But, I mean, it's helping. It helps. Oh, yeah. But what I mean to say by that is this job would benefit a lot more if we were already kind of established. Because then I would come back and then we would just 
be able to vacation and not yeah. have to worry about having to pay for a concrete slab or more landscaping or construction to be done. With a good paying full-time job, I'd be making essentially the same amount of money in the same amount of time, except I would have the benefit of being able to be with my family every day. We both applied because I work at the hospital, but um, in the department where I am, there's not a lot of space for growth. I have grown in the three plus years that I've worked there. I just recently got another small raise, stuff like that. But I mean, it's never wrong for a change. We both applied to a company that puts together airplane parts. And I've heard really good things about that company that the pay is really good, the starting pay is good, and then it increases and there's room for growth. I'm always uh, wanting to grow, so like if I learn something and it interests me, I'll, I wanna do more, I wanna do more, and obviously, you know, you climb the ladder, so to speak. Jose has, you know, this the rest of this month and the month of July to kind of see if we can get him a job here, a, an established job. If we don't by that time, then we have no other option but for him to go but I really wish for him to stay. This is what comes with the struggles. It's like options or choices. Yeah. What do we do? At least we have choices, right? It's limited, but we have choices. These two months did pay for a lot and it would be, it would be stupid of me and it would be false to say that it's not a good job to get a lot done. I prefer to be around my family and make what money I can here. You know, I don't care if the process is a little bit slower, as long as we're doing it together. It feels better to me than leaving my family and then being able to kind of like get a lot done. The other side of the coin is, and this was the, the whole pros and cons things, the other half of the year, two months off, I get to be around my family and do nothing but relax. And then we talked about the pays, you know, um, the pays don't go very far. So while I'm here, I don't have a lot of money saved up to actually enjoy being here. Like as an actual vacation, I just kind of stay home. And although that is fun, uh, it would be better if we actually got to go and do things. But on that note being able to do things so i get to be on vacation noemi has a full-time uh -huh. job so it doesn't work out that way i get to come home and spend two months here but it doesn't mean we get to have a vacation because noemi still has a full-time job we have to work around her anyways one could argue noemi just has to plan her vacation time or days off around when i come back I mean, I'm kind of a single mom around here in a way because if the kids get sick or they have appointments, I'm the one that has to juggle that around. So a lot of my time yeah. off goes towards them. Baby steps. <laughs> Baby steps.
the frowny face. <laughs> Nana, are you eating your corn? Our kids are filthy. <laughs> it's hot, buddy, but is it good? Yes, it's good. Thank you, Nana. Keep the bubbles. You're welcome, baby. A lot of food, you might get thirsty. Okay. Whoa, whoa, look up there. <laughs> There's people parachuting. <laughs> look at that. It's a random thing we're seeing out here on our property. Parachuters, paragliders, whatever you call what them. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Where do you think they came from? I have no idea. I wonder where they're gonna land. There's all of those. 24 parachutes. Just randomly. 24 parachutes. I think it's more than that, Nathan. We've seen quite a few. I'm gonna help you. Oh my god. Well, you're not going to feel better. Not complaining and stuff. Mommy. If you stay still, I'm going to make you better. No. Okay, don't stay still and I'm not going to make you better. You'll feel better later, Nathan. It's okay. Thank you for being a good big brother. He doesn't want me to be my brother. He does want to be your brother. He just doesn't want you to touch his alley. Yeah, it's, but it's okay. Well, he's just scared. But it's okay, you tried. Is that blood in there? Mm -mm. No? No. Do you want to show me? Like what? I'm going to TV. Watching TV. Dun, 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 dun. You want it? Mm. No. Okay. Oh, this is scary. What's so, scary? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump in. Oh. All right, jump in. Oh, oh man. You're like, no. Nope. Worth it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Ah. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> Joseph, stop. Stop it. You want to go see your grandma? No. Yeah, your other grandma? No, our grandma. Where are you going then? I'll go to the dentist. You ready, Nathan? Yep. You want one of these? Mm -hmm. Which one? Huh? Mm -hmm. He likes monster trucks? No, but monster trucks. Mm. Yeah, monster trucks. I brought cars. <laughs> bye bye, baby. Bye bye, Papa. Not me. Papa's driving you guys. You guys are going with Papa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to stay here. But don't worry. We're going to have a real fun time. Sneak kiss. Sneak kiss. Sneak a kiss in there. Sneak kiss. Okay. <laughs> about five. Mm, about five. Mm, six days. Hey, bye, baby. Support me. Okay. Don't destroy your grandma's house. Bye, bye. Mm. So, this next week, as I'm leaving tomorrow in Waterville, which is 15 minutes away from the property. There's gonna be a monster truck show. The third, we got invited, me and Noemi, to uh, get together at one of a friend's house. We're not gonna be able to go, but I did tell Noemi that she should go. The day after is the fourth, so a fireworks show. So we will be going to something like that, me and the kids and other grandma. Oh yeah, and the circus thing. When is that happening? The weekend. The weekend? Mm hmm Okay. And then on the 5th, I have to come back so that Jose I can go to a job interview. Has an interview. 
Yeah. <laughs> so he might stay with us and not have to leave for two months again. Yeah, that's that's fingers, fingers crossed, crossed that happens. Yeah, they got me. They called me pretty quick for an interview, so. <laughs> and they haven't called me. <laughs> so hopefully, they give me the job. You know. Yeah. I'm sure that they'll like me. I'll turn on the charm. I'll be like. Drive safe. Text me when you get there. Bye bye. bye. Love you. Love you too.